Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is the last video before the launch of my book, The Obsidians. So this is one final chance to hear a little excerpt from the book. Today we're going to read a little bit just before Christian meets the band. So if you're all sitting back comfortably, I'll begin. Henrik smiled warmly as he sat behind his drum kit. His platinum blonde spiked hair swaying gently as he sagged himself up. Ruin jumped up on stage with his smoldering locks of slick back shoulder length hair and open silver shirt before a chorus of wolf whistles signalled Marissa's appearance on stage. Henrik counted them in before Ruin's guitar joined and finally Marissa's throaty, sexy yet angelic voice. The crowd went wild in appreciation of the sexiness of the lead vocalist. Just then, Christian and Al walked through the swing doors where a wall of noise greeted them both. Christian shouted out to get the drinks and gestured to them to booth across the bar. Christian sat by himself for a few moments, forgetting the location and blocking out the sound all around. He closed his eyes and pictured Eve sitting beside him. He knew the MI7 were best placed to find her, but that didn't help. His mood was dark and pretty. Move over, Al shouted as he came to the table carrying a couple of beers and a couple of shots. Just then, the band finished playing their opening song. They're not half bad, Chris, yelled Al. Told you she was a fox. Christian shrugged his shoulders, and Al just shook his head as the girl on stage addressed the audience. Good evening, Glasgow, screamed Marissa brightly. We are Obsidia, and we're here to rock your world tonight. The crowd erupted wildly, but not Christian. He sat there startled, and could only stare open mouthed towards the stage. Did she say Obsidian? He thought to himself, could that be a total coincidence? His subconscious mind screaming there's no such thing as coincidence. My name's Marissa, and I'm going to sing a bit for you tonight. On drums, we have Henrik. Right in cue, he gave a mini drum solo. And over here we have Ruin and guitar. He responded with a short rock riff, and the crowd roared in response. Thanks guys, we appreciate the support. Anyway, we're going to slow it down a bit with a piece of classic soft rock, and this is amazing. Ruin put down his guitar and picked up a violin when Marissa sat down at the piano and the music started. Christian sat transfixed. The haunting violin resonated through him. This was a piece of music he was sure he'd never heard before, yet it brought out such a strong emotional response. The girl's equally haunting voice echoed out across the room and he was mesmerised. Life's a journey, not a destination, sang the redhead fiercely. Christian was immovable as the crowd roared out for more. He sat there entranced by what was occurring and saw it irrationally that the song was aimed at him. That last line struck a chord with him and seemed so familiar. He then remembered his conversation with Eve by the riverside and the overwhelming feeling surged through his veins. He closed his eyes and saw Eve shrouded in pain. Suddenly he became aware that his shirt was growing hotter and a strange black light was pulsing from the object within. Instinctively, his hand went to the source of the light and the power flowed through his body. With the vision of Eve fresh in his head and the power he now felt, he arched his head back and let a scream of primal rage. Spark flew around the room and the lights brightened blindingly before they exploded en masse. Terrified screams of panic sounded out as the room became crowded in darkness. And we're going to finish there. We'll leave you in a little bit of a cliffhanger. Thank you very much for watching as always and uh, thank you very much for the support that I've had. It's been tremendous and thank you very much for keeping coming back and keeping watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like and tell all your friends and join in next week, 1st of May, for the launch. Take care.